Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you're here because today's video is a little bit different from my dedicated fashion topic videos. This is about my five streams of income and how I generate income monthly. Okay, I'm really proud of myself to say that I have five streams of income because just last year I had absolutely none. Okay, so I'm very proud of myself. Let's just get right into this video. But before, hold on, before we get into this video, make sure you guys are subscribing. There are more people watching this video that are not subscribed that are subscribed, okay? So subscribe to this video. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button because it lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also share this content if you so choose. Watch my videos. I have a dedicated playlist that I get you up to speed about different types of fashion business um, topics. So check out the playlist down below. And I hope you guys are really enjoying this content, like I said before. <laughs> um, let's get into this right now. My first stream of income, you guys, is my own brand. It is Mayhem Swim. Now, this I'm not putting this in order because I'm just gonna go off, you know, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about these incomes. And I'm gonna try to give you guys monthly averages. But like I said, my first stream of income is my own brand, which is Mayhem Swim and Mayhem Reshop. I have two dedicated brands that go hand in hand on one website mayhem swim i am a swimwear designer i love swimwear i love lingerie i like skimpy things i like things you know that don't take a lot right now i'm in a sweater i have on this little top but um it's cold in here so don't judge this with my aesthetic of my brand okay um, but i have a swimwear brand i sell swimwear beachwear accessories that go along with the beach um like beach life aesthetic and then my reshop is a curated collection of pieces that i go out and find myself that personally fits in with the aesthetic of swimwear meaning casual pieces like light hoodies jackets um probably uh i have a custom custom wear as well custom shorts different types of things like that that goes hand in hand now i can't give you a monthly average on this because one it's a very personal thing but also because my brand is still very new and it is growing every single day it is growing so it's going to fluctuate with me being a, a very new um brand owner but i can say that my lowest price point on my website is going to be about $25 and that's for something that's probably on sale and the highest on my website right now currently is probably going to be around that 200 to 250 uh, price range and that's probably because I have items that are dedicated to the reshop which are more expensive. Um, in January, I have a bunch of manufactured pieces that are coming out that I'm very proud of. So obviously the price points are going to go a little bit higher because these are manufactured pieces, but they're also my exclusive designs. So you get where I'm going. Okay. So that's my first stream of income. My second stream of income is my social media marketing agency. This is very new for me, but it's also something I was doing a, a whole like year before I realized it was a thing. <laughs> so um, I have a social media marketing agency and it is called Style Tech Media. It is fashion dedicated, it is tech dedicated, it is media dedicated and I feel like I hit the nail on the head with the name. Everything works out with that. Now this social media marketing agency is an agency that does um, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, consultation, business uh, strategies and branding, website audits, Instagram audits, everything that goes into the world of digital marketing, I pretty much offer with Style Tech Media. Now, the price ranges and the gauges for this can go anywhere from a website audit or Instagram audit that, can, that starts at $25 and goes all the way up to $65, depending on what type of audit that I am doing, the price is definitely going to vary, but it will stay in that price range of $25 to $65 per audit, <laughs> okay, per audit. Um, when it comes to my um, phone calls, my phone uh, conferences and things like that, when you just really need to talk to me about um, anything business related or something like that, um, my price range just started at 175 and they go all the way up to 275. So that's for phone conferences and I feel like those are for very, very fair prices and the prices definitely reflect the information that you get within these phone calls because there are agencies out there that are charging upwards $800 to talk to you on the phone for an hour I get it I get it but I feel like that's a little bit ridiculous for a phone call <laughs> um, now when it comes to the more in-depth things where it's really taking my time it's really taking my expertise of what I have to offer you as a business uh, strategist and a brand strategist those prices are definitely going to be higher right now I currently have two full-time clients and I have one one client who I consider full-time but it's more of a retainer so they pay a retainer and it's monthly so I'm always gonna be generating um, 
generating income from different clients so the price range like i said is very different and that can start anywhere between the low 200s all the way upwards to a couple thousand dollars depending on how much business that they need from me as their brand strategist so the price range is definitely going to gauge you guys i'm going to be having a dedicated video about this sometime in january where i'll be introducing and launching my business publicly we are currently working on the website at first my website was only open to people that i personally reach out to and give a password and i want to open this up to more and more people because i feel like i have a lot to offer so just stay on the lookout for that okay my third stream of income it actually happens to be depop you guys I make a pretty good income on Depop monthly. Actually, weekly, I make a pretty good income. On Depop, if you don't know what that is, it's basically an app just like Instagram, except for it's for selling merchandise. It's for selling clothing, accessories, um, shoes, different things people sell on there. People sell cameras on there, and it's just dedicated for you to sell things that you really don't need in your life anymore, things that you're willing to give away to somebody else who's going to appreciate it a little bit more at the time than what you are currently. I sell on Depop, I sell vintage pieces on there, I sell uh, sneakers on there. The base, Basically, I sell things that I don't want to put into my reshop that, do, that don't go along with my brand. I love thrifting, I usually find a bunch of things when I go thrifting, I feel like, oh, wow, this might sell really good on Depop and somebody might like it. So the price points on Depop definitely vary. It goes up and down. I don't think I've sold anything on Depop for less than $13, but again, it goes up and down. It goes according to quality. It goes according to what exactly I'm selling, what brand I'm selling and things like that. You know, it, it definitely varies, but I feel like the best week I've had on Depop, it was about a $600 week. So it depends on how much time I'm putting into it, but I definitely generate income from Depop weekly. Um, now, when it comes to my fourth stream of income, this is very out of the box. You're probably gonna be like, what, <laughs> what is this? But my fourth stream of income is Forex. If you don't know what Forex is, it is currency trading. Currency trading is so cool. My brother introduced me to currency trading a few years ago, and I spent about eight months learning how to actually trade. It's something that you have to dedicate a lot of time to because you lose your real money. Okay, now Forex, honestly, I can say that this should be my number one source of income because you can make a lot of money on Forex. I am what you call a scalper. I'm a day trader, but I do more quick scalps. And quick scalps is mean, meaning I trade currencies quick, like in and out. I'm also high risk because I'm willing to risk a little bit more money on every trade just so I can get a better return <laughs> on the opposite end. Now, this is not gambling. This is actually... <laughs> A dedicated trade that you probably should learn but this is where this is a trade where I'm happy because if everything else fails this is this I know I can rely on I will never go broke ever with Forex trading okay so I can go in and make a quick $80 in four minutes or I can go in and make a quick $8,000 in about eight minutes or less you know so it's dedicated if you want to know more about Forex just google it go on YouTube and talk about it I don't want to go again too far in depth but this is a trade that I'm very proud that I was introduced to. Also a trade that I'm very proud that I actually paid attention to because this generates a lot of income, okay, daily. So don't sleep on different trades. My last source of income, you guys are gonna be like, what? Girl, you tripping. But my last source of income, I had to add this in because it only it's only right and it only makes sense. It is YouTube. My channel is not monetized. I am not even at the threshold to reach monetization, okay? So you're probably wondering why the hell would you add in YouTube as a source of income? It's because since starting this YouTube channel a few short months ago and I have a dedicated subject and niche on YouTube, I get different types of emails and I get different types of DMs that come from different types of people and they are actually generating income from YouTube alone. And I ask people all the time, well, how did you find out about this or that? And they tell me, your YouTube channel. So right now, even though I'm not monetized, eventually I will be and I'm looking forward to that. So guys, like this video and subscribe and share it with your friends, okay? Because that's how we grow in here. <laughs> but um, I chose YouTube as a source of income. Like I said, my last client for Style Tech Media, my social media marketing agency, came from YouTube, from watching my YouTube videos. She just so happened to reach out to me. It was a very genuine conversation and I directed her to Style Tech Media. So in that sense, I say YouTube is a client-based service that I'm offering right now. And aside from that, I'm offering YouTube services as far as filming, branding, SEO, um, how to tag your videos and things like that. Look out for that. I think that's 
in two more videos I have a video about how you can re-rank your videos how I'm driving traffic to this channel because it wasn't here at first okay <laughs> how I'm driving traffic to this channel and how I am able to rank my videos over and over and over again because right now my traffic source is from suggested videos as well as how I'm able to do that so look out for that but YouTube is definitely a source of income for me. I have, a, I, it's been a referral business at this point and I'm very happy. That's why I'm also very happy to talk about Style Tech Media in January with you guys because again, I think it's gonna be booming. It's gonna take off and I'm gonna love it and you guys are gonna love it as well. So those are my five streams of income, you guys. It is my brand, which is Mayhem Swim and Mayhem Reshop. It is um, Style Tech Media, which is my social media marketing agency. It is Depop, where I sell and resell clothing and vintage items and high ticket items that are pretty cool. It is Forex Trading, which is currency trading. That is the bomb. And my last source of income is YouTube. You guys, I generate a really good income that keeps me afloat, that allows me to have a great lifestyle and live according to how I want, living by my own rules, my own means. I am not living beyond my means. <laughs> so in no way, shape or form am I rich, but I am on my way to building something that I couldn't even imagine just this last year so don't count yourself short when it comes to different skills and different tasks that you have there are ways to monetize things you don't have to monetize everything but it's a good idea to look at your skills and if you can offer it as a service do that because it generates income thank you so much for watching this video if you really enjoyed this video make sure you guys like it by hitting the like button make sure you guys are subscribing to this channel because i like new subscribers okay I like new subscribers. I love y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. I will see you guys on my next one.